Here we go. I'm heating. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. I want to run you through couscous again. It's extremely simple. You can get this variety from Rostan's. I told you I promised I would find a cheaper source. It's extremely inexpensive. It's like 80 pesos. So go and get your couscous today. I'll show you how easy it is. So I'm putting in about two cups. Mm, let's do yeah, almost two cups in there, okay? And then I'm gonna put in my couscous. You're probably putting for two cups of water, you're probably putting about a cup of couscous. Let's see how that goes. I'll leave that there. Before you know it, your couscous will absorb the hot water and it's done and ready for cooking. Let's see. I'm going to add a little more if it's too mushy. Now, let me start with cutting my garlic, basic garlic and onions. Onion as well. Did you see this? Look what happened to our couscous. It took all of two minutes maybe and it's perfect. So we're right. For about two cups of water, you put in about a cup of couscous. And that's gonna be our chicken stuffing. Let me chop up some dried fruits. Okay. Just a little bit. The rest will garnish on top. You know, I also like to use um, you've seen the Cebu dried mangoes. You can also use that for a different, you know, twist to this dish. Again, you, dried fruits, the sky's the limit. You can use different dried fruits. Throwing in some black raisins. You can even throw in cranberry. Whatever's inexpensive and available, go for it. Okay. Now I'm going to throw in my couscous. Let's throw that in. Okay, so simple. And then I'm putting in, I would say about a cup and a half of tomato sauce. I love to use all these McCormick spices, cinnamon, cumin, paprika, turmeric. And I've noticed that today, They've got some new stuff available on the shelf. They're going in these small little packets. So you can be sure that your spices are always fresh. So buy the little packets and then use them just as you need them. All right, so let's throw in some cinnamon. I'd say about a teaspoon cinnamon. The chicken is smaller. A teaspoon of turmeric, beautiful turmeric. Spanish paprika. There's no rule here, just for a smaller bit, bit of meat, then you put in about a teaspoon. If you're doing a big lamb, remember we were talking about two, three teaspoons. All right, we're good. And the kitchen again is smelling wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna get all that together just with some wine. Maybe just a fourth of a cup because the juice of that beautiful free range chicken is already gonna mix in. Okay, I'm just missing some cabbage. Let me get that for you. Chunks of cabbage. Cut into nice chunks. And it's right here. What do you know? Okay. <clears throat> Again. I like my cabbage when it comes out of that chicken still with a nice bite and chew. So I'm going to make life easy and just cut it in beautiful chunks. Throw it in there. <coughs> Goodness, some of that spice went into my... <coughs> Let that cabbage come apart. And we are going to stuff our chicken. First layer, we're gonna do that to our chicken as well. So what's happening now is I'm noticing that my couscous is a little dry, so I'm gonna put 
some more liquid in just a little bit because it continues to absorb liquid. It comes this way so easy so when you're done stuffing it you just put it back. You know you, it, they used its skin cleverly cleverly done and you get it cross legs again. But okay we have to open it to stuff. So I'm using a spoon and I'm gonna stuff my couscous into the cavity. Okay, be careful, it's hot. But all this beautiful flavor and the juice of the chicken, that's why I like the chicken with the skin, you know? Okay, let me put the rest around. Put a layer on top of your chicken. Just need a little bit of soy sauce for this. Let's put it all in there. Oh man, this pan is heavy. We need some muscles. Where is George Clooney when I need him? Okay, just stuff it in. And you can see I'm not very graceful, but that's really the way it is. You don't need to have much skill to do this. It's always delicious. Just 45 minutes in the oven, maximum heat. And you have gorgeous, perfect Moroccan spiced chicken. We're not done. I'm just gonna throw in again my dried fruits, one second, a little bit of dried fruits, sprinkle that on top, I still have some soy sauce and some tomato sauce going in there as well, one second. So you notice I'm layering my flavors because you don't want to put it all in one go, you want to layer it. Woo, we're gonna have some rain. Lovely. Put a little bit of soy sauce because I didn't put much salt on this. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then top with tomato sauce. Just give it one more layer of color. So all in all, we have about two to three cups of tomato sauce in here. Let me get this in. You can also put some foil on this and stick it in the oven, but really 45 minutes, as long as your heat on top is not strong, you put your chicken down, should be okay. I'm gonna stick this in the oven, hold on. Preheated oven, maximum heat, and leave it there for 45 minutes, it'll come out perfect. Plating time. Okay, let me get the chicken first. All right, here we go. Ooh. I decided to put some foil so it doesn't burn on top. So please, 45 minutes oven, put some foil over it, all right? Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, beautiful food. Now, can I bring in my special guest? I know you can't wait. All right, hold on. George! My friends. This is George Clooney. He is my faithful companion and every dinner he's here with us. Fully dressed, alert, and enthusiastic. He's my dinner date tonight. But really seriously, the point I'm driving at is enjoy life's simple joy. So let's try this. Just from the side. Mm, the chicken is so tender. Wonderful, wonderful tomato sauce. Let's try it. Mm, mm. Couscous is perfect. The cabbage is just nice and crunchy. So wonderful. Please stuff your chicken with couscous and try this at home. We'll see you again for another adventure only here on Sabrina's Kitchen. Cheers. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen Table's waiting for you